felt like making another video. I was reading Casey's uh, uh, share about that 1648, and I have a personality 1648 run through there with, uh, I think, my design. I got a design 48 also, and uh, in that little in that little thing he shared, he was talking about how the 1648 uh, learns an instrument and has to continue and continue and practice and practice and practice that uh, <laughs> well I don't quite know how that works for me because I've taken up man, seven eight different instruments over all these years and I would get to where I could play it and then I would just get bored and I'd walk away from it and I suspect that that hanging five that I have and a hanging nine that I have might be culprits in there. And I believe that hanging 35 that I have also might play a part in that. And that's what I thought I'd maybe share with y'all a little bit, how intertwined all this stuff is, how one thing kind of will affect the other <laughs> and is like, Holy crap, does it get complicated, but, <clears throat> but yeah, for me, I'm assuming that that hanging nine gate that I have, that uh, it, until I get hooked up with somebody with the 52, I don't finish stuff, I dream it up, I have all kinds of ideas, but without that 52, I've had a tendency of not getting the things accomplished, not seeing them through. Um, and I'm assuming that might be part of the, part of the deal with the, with the multiple instruments that I, I've learned to play. And for God, I've learned how to read music, I think like four times, and I, to this, today I cannot read music. I, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But the hanging five uh, is uh, a gate of rhythm, so I, uh, uh, I've always been involved and been around people, musicians, and and whatnot. But uh, and at th that hanging thirty-five, I haven't really much, uh, I haven't really much looked into that. I just read up and. Karen Curry's book on it. I'm sitting there watching, watching canoers trying to get around a stand of a stand of cane that uh, the the current goes under. <laughs> they never see my house because as soon as they see that cane, that's all they're interested in <laughs> is how to not be dragged under all that cane hanging over there. <laughs> That's part of my little ADD mind, and that's also part of that uh, that uh, hanging nine that uh, wonderful Randy Richmond was telling me about one time. Uh, one of my two-hour phone conversations with him. <laughs> he was asking me if I had any OCD tendencies, and I told him, "Well, no, I'm I'm into patterns. I'm into." Uh, um, kind of have, you know, doing things a certain way, but as far as OCD, no, I think I'm just more into detail, but it's interesting that, that taking up all these instruments and then just getting bored with it and walking away, uh, what was it, drums and the bugle and the accordion and the clarinet, the piano three times, 
and so now the only thing that I'm into is just the uh, hand drums, the djembes and the bongos and stuff. And I think the reason I do that is because I don't have to practice. <laughs> I just play. I just play. I've had people tell me, you need, to, you need to play louder. You need to play faster. And it's like, no, nah, I just play the way I play. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> No, I don't want you to teach me African rhythms. I don't want you to teach me that rhythm or that rhythm. No. But it's kind of amazing how that all kind of comes together. Looking at a chart, I'm just so amazed by people like, uh, like Lavina and like Randy that... Randy said that uh, you guys probably heard this, but Randy said when he when he looks at a human design chart, it's like looking at sheet music that he can actually read it like like music, and he can tell when when the chords are off and when you know it's like wow, <laughs> that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. But anyway, so that uh, yeah, I just kind of wanted to throw that out. I'm still waking up how uh, how these hanging gates can can add but also when you're with somebody that finishes off a channel that uh, how it's so different you know here again when you're with somebody as a unit the unit is, you know, different than the individuals altogether. And it pretty much amazes me how you can, or at least somebody at my age, that I, uh, I can look, look back at relationships and what happened in and around them relationships. And, uh, and the deal is with that hanging nine gate, I've lived with three different gals, all generators and manifesting generators that had that, either the whole channel, 52 to 9, or just the 52, and each time I bought and sold houses, <laughs> I was living with these gals that, uh, that uh, had that, and you know, that, to look back and see how, how close a person's life can can uh, mirror in this human design stuff, you know? It's like, I don't know, it's pretty amazing. Anyway, I kind of feel like I'm kind of just rambling on, so I'm going to stop and see what it looks like. <laughs>